your next set of online phonics videos. For the next set that you're about to watch, we're about to begin phase 5b. Now phase 5b focuses all on alternative pronunciation. So pronunciation means the way that I say something. So it's all different ways that we might say one particular sound. Okay, so do make sure that you go through it at your own pace. If you need to go slightly slower on some bits, that is absolutely fine. Now, just like our previous phonics sessions, there will be bits that I'll be asking you. So do make sure that you are joining in and there will also be some writing involved. So you do need to make sure that you've got something to write with and something to write on. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to taking you through phase 5b. A Ow I E Oi Er U U O What Water. Where. Who. Again. Thought. Through. Work. Mouse. Many. Laughed. Because. Different. Any. Eyes. Friends. Once. Please. Hi everyone, welcome back to our next session of alternative pronunciation for phase 5b. So today we are going to be looking at this sound here. So normally we would pronounce this as an o. O. Okay. So let's just look at some normal words where we would pronounce that as an o sound. So for example, you might say the word mm ot not next one p ot pot like a cooking pot and the last one g ot got okay today however we are going to s today however we are going to have a look at pronouncing that a slightly different way and we are going to pronounce that as an O today. So just like its letter name, O. So let's have a look at these words here. But this time I want you to have a go at pronouncing it as an O sound. So let's have a look here. I've got G, O, go. Next one, another tricky word. N, O, no. The last one, S, O, so. Well done you. Right, let's have a look at some real words and some pseudo words then. So, as we sound these ones out, as I said to you, we're not going to be saying an O oh sound, we are going to pronounce that as an O. Oh. So let's have a look at this first one together. R, A, D, Rad, E, O. Radio. So we pronounce that A slightly different and we say ra A, Radio. So radio. So you might listen to some music on your radio. The next one, r, i, n, o, rhino. So that h is actually a silent h. So don't pronounce the h. It's r, i, n, o. Okay. So we've got an alternative i in there from last session. So i has turned into an i, and then our o has turned it into an o. R. Rhin o rhino, so like a rhinoceros. The last one, s, k, r, o, 
or scroll, okay? So you might look at an ancient scroll. Well done you! Let's have a look at our pseudo words then. We've got w, o, p, wope, p, i, d, e, o, pidio. And lastly, k, o, m, at, o, comato. Well done you! Okay, pause the screen and have a read of the sentence at the bottom. Don't forget there is a mixture of ofs and os in there. So be very careful when you're reading it. Right, let's go from the beginning then. So I've got an alternative o here because I've got d, o, m, t, don't. I wonder if you know what don't is short for. So it's short for do not, but we use a contraction apostrophe there. So we've got don't get, get a, don't get a shock, shock, if, if, don't get a shock if, it, it is, don't get a shock if it is t, u, to, Hot, hot, don't get a shock if it is too hot or t, u, to, k, o, older, cold. Don't get a shock if it is too hot or too cold. Well done. Right, let's have a go at spelling some words then. The first word I want you to have a go at spelling is the word both. B O three phonemes B O so have a go at doing that now. Okay, so the word was both. Okay, we've got that B sound at the beginning. We've then got an alternative O in there. So O. Okay, you might have thought it sounded like an O like that. So like slow or a bow. Okay. But this one is in fact just an O on its own, alternative O. And then I'm going to go in with my TH, B, O, TH. So well done to you if you got that one right. Okay, next word I want you to have a go at then is an O sound for this one. So I want you to have a go at the word bold, B, O, O, D, bold. So I've got four phonemes, B, O, O, D. Okay, have a go at doing that one now. Right, so my next word is the word bold. Now to show you what this word means, I'm going to write this word in bold. Because if something is in bold, that means that it's slightly thicker. Okay, so I've got the word b, o, o, d. So bold. Well done if you spelt that right. And as you can see, those letters look slightly thicker than those ones because those letters are in bold, okay? In case you didn't know what that word meant. Okay, the last word I want you to have a go at now then is the word over, over. So like over there. So you've got an alternative O at the beginning. O, V, R. Three phonemes, O, V. Have a go at that one now. Good stuff. So I've got O, V, R, O, V, R, digraph R at the end there. Well done if you got those three correct. Okay, final part of our session today then. I'm going to give you a sentence and I want you to have a go at writing it at home. So my sentence for you today is... Can we both hold the gold? So I've got six words in there. Can we both hold the gold? So have a go at writing that one now. Do be careful with your O and your O sounds and then we'll see what it should look like.
Okay, let's have a look at our sentence together then. So my first word was can. So I need a capital letter for that. So a nice tall C, can. My next word was we, can we. Then I've got the word both, which has got an alternative O sound, but O. Can we both hold, 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 hold. Can we both hold? Then we had the tricky word, the. Last word was gold, g, off, old, gold. Can we both hold the gold? Well done to you if you get that right. Coming up at the end of this video now, there will be another little phoneme spotter for you to practice your reading. So have a read of that and keep practicing and I'll see you next time. Well done.